Poppy YouTube, it's your boy Steels, and I'm back, back with another uh, video, uh, introducing a new segment to my channel, it's called uh, Rant of the Week, um, I'm probably going to do like, I'm gonna, well, I'm going to do one of these once a week, um, so I'm, I'm going to do one tonight, Saturday, so I'll probably, I'm, I know I'm going to do one sometime next week too, so this one's going to kind of catch towards the tail end of this week so I'm gonna have one up next week too so basically I'm just gonna kinda cover things that you know just like a little brief brief a brief rant of some sort you know just kinda like things I wanna kinda discuss that kinda you know just my opinion about certain things I wanna rant about so the day I'm at work you know I'm at work at GameStop so I'm at work and like this is like a group of people and some of the, uh, my colleagues, and they were just going on and on how Call of Duty was just so whack. Call of Duty, as a franchise, you know, uh, Modern Warfare 3 was like whack. You know, it's like, oh man, it's terrible. You know, the Call of Duty franchise is just, it's like, you know, it's crap now. And and they need to just give up, uh, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and it's not the first time I heard this, this discussion. And I don't really want to make the discussion about first-person shooters, but I am going to like use Modern Warfare and Call of Duty, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and I'm going to use Battlefield 3. Just kind of talk about first-person shooters, and I'm going to kind of use those two games as kind of like examples. Uh, I'll probably use a couple more games too, but those those two will probably be my main focus. Um, My opinion, my rant about it, I've been playing Call of Duty, uh, not not like not as long as probably some people, but long enough. And I mean, I don't really see now. Not before I say this, now uh, I do believe that every year, if you're gonna come out with a game, that it does, it should it should be like improved. So that means like the sound, the quality, sound quality, the graphics, you know, just simple stuff, obvious things. You know, if you put on a new game. I mean, it should be improved. Um, but I think what sometimes I think a lot of people want too much from Call of Duty, and I don't think they realize, you know, what type of game Call of Duty actually is as a franchise, and what Activision actually does. To me, <clears throat> like I was telling them at work today, I was like, to me, Call of like to me is like a new genre in gaming, and it's called. Um, shooting, sports shooting. It's like sports. Like you know how you go out and play um paintball, and paintball is like a um you know a activity. So I mean, so I'm pretty sure they have like professional paintball tournaments and things. So if it has a tournament, it's, it's like a semi sport of some sort. And I feel like the approach that Activision has took with Call of Duty is like it's a sports shooter, and it's going to continue to come out every year. Like Madden, a two K, um, baseball, any other sports game that comes out, just like even with um, um, Street Fighter. You know, I'm pretty sure now we're gonna see some sort of fighting game from Capcom. Capcom, that's a fighter that has some similar, like you know, uh, Street Fighter versus um, Taken is coming out. And it was Marvel versus Capcom. And then it was Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter, and Arcade uh, Street Fighter. So I'm pretty sure they're going to relaunch um, consistency of at least one new Capcom fighting game a year. And the reason why I do this is because like, fighting is a sports too. And it's like every year, if you're really into Street Fighter or Capcom fighters, then you're looking to actually upgrade your upgrade the game. Common, you know, basic sense. So... I feel like Activision has took it, taken this approach with, you know, excuse me, first person shooters. It's going to come out every year. It's not going to be any, any major changes. It's just like every year for the last God knows how long, Madden, Madden and 2K or NBA Live when it was coming out, was coming out every year. And it would basically be the same game just with some improvements or graphics. And you used to, you used to be able to like to flip the game over and it would be like, these are the new features. I don't think they do it as much as they used to. That used to be like a, a huge selling point 
with a lot of EA Sports games, they'll tell you like you know better commentary, better graphic, better physics. You know, um, you know more realistic ball play, um, especially when they got the analog stick. It was like you know you have personalized control now over signature moves. And I think like Call of Duty, just the same type of game. Like it's, it's the exact same game. Like it's gonna be the same game, and it's like that's all it is too. It's nothing you can really, really you know do about it because it's a sports shooter. Um, Battlefield 3 is semi the same. It's just a little bit different from the standpoint of where Call of Duty is more arcadish. From like I don't I wouldn't even want to say arcadish. I just want to say like uh, close corners. It's like close corner combat. It's like Call of Duty is more close corner, where uh, Battlefield is more uh, open environment. So it's like instead of being close corners on Call of Duty, you know you're more open in a wider range of an area with Battlefield, but it's pretty much the same game. Um, Battlefield looks a little more realer, you know what I'm saying? And it, it sound quality is a lot more nice, to, you know, in my, per in, uh, my opinion. But nonetheless, it's the same game. Now, Battlefield did try to uh, incorporate some um, close corner where they scaled down the maps for the um, team deathmatch and then the um, and the free fall. If they, you know, free fall, you play that. But you know, that's basically what it is, and it's like Battlefield is like a sports shooter too. To me personally, the only thing that separates, like, I think what people are looking for in Battlefield and Call of Duty is more of something they're not going to get. You know, um, let's be honest. Most people never buy Battlefield and Call of Duty for campaign. Most people, some people play it. A lot of people play it just because they want to unlock certain guns or perks, or things that they have to play the game. You know, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that people don't play them. I'm just saying that's not the really the big selling point for those two games. If you want more out of a game, like if you was like if you own a PlayStation Three, you should have bought Resistance Three. Like the Resistance franchise is really dope because it actually has a story. It actually improved every game. It actually had characters that you can remember with names. It had a, it actually had a story that was continuous, and at the same time, it had multiplayer. Uh, if you own an Xbox 360, then you should play Halo. Halo, same thing. Everybody knows uh, Master Chief. I forget the guy that's on Resistance, uh, but everybody knows Master Chief. It has a story. It has characters that you can relate to that you can follow um it's you know regardless of the story being better or worse from game to game that's just an opinion but nonetheless it has a story and plus it has a nice uh multiplayer uh to go along with it um same thing well i was gonna say years but we're not gonna get a third person we're just gonna keep it first person um but those are the games that are designed to be more um like a gamer's gamer it's like um you know like story then multiplayer so you're buying it more for the story and the game itself then multiplayer but when you play battlefield and you play in call of duty you know it's just multiplayer and like yeah we're gonna tack on a, a, a campaign it's like it's backwards like i'm pretty sure when uh insomniac made resistance 3 or resistant franchise they was more focused on the story they like hey let's tack on a multiplayer so they can have some longevity in the game same thing with halo you know, but when Activision for Call of Duty or Battlefield came out, I'm pretty sure it was like, let's work on a multiplayer, let's get this dope, and then we'll tap on a campaign. Bam. So I think people like just blow this out of proportion. Like, am I going to buy the new Black Op, Black Op game? Black Op games coming that's coming out probably later this year around November. I mean, of course. I mean, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna buy it just, and I'm already knowing what it's gonna be like. It's like people act like they don't know what they expect. It's gonna be the same thing as Black Ops that that came out two years ago. It's gonna be uh, semi improved graphics, semi improved vocals, uh, better probably physics. The maps will probably be a little bit different. I mean, they improve, you know, like the complaints that everybody had. They improve them and make some new some new perks and things. But basically, it's the same game. And 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 the people who and like the 25, 30 million people who actually buy it, I mean, obviously, they, they, they want it to stay that way. It's just like when you buy Madden or, or basketball, like you don't want everything to change. Like you want the control to stay the same, everything, because you want to jump right in and start playing. You don't want to have to learn the game. You know, you don't want to learn the game this year and you have to relearn it next year. So it's the same. So it's going to be typically the same game. So I don't know why everybody's going to run out in November, buying it again, and acting like 
they think it's going to change. Like, it's not going to change. It is a sports shooter. There is a job right now. Do I consider resistance and Halo sports shooters? Yeah, but no. Like I said, you're getting a story. You're getting a story and you're getting characters with resistance in Halo. You know, when you, when you play Battlefield or any other game, it's no story. Like, the story is there, but it's not any characters that you relate to. It's not for that. I'm telling you, it's not for a campaign. It's, you buy those games because... You, you want to play multi multiplayer. You want to play online with your friends. So that's it's going to be the same. You know, I don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over, but it's just not. So don't buy it. If you're thinking it's going to be different in some way, it's not. And so if you don't feel like playing the same game, do not buy it. If it's like when you play in 2K, like I tell people all the time, like, is it dope? I like it's 2K. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like it was last year. They just fix some things in it, you know, tighten up the graphics and the details in the face and, the, you know, like the character detail in it. It's the same game. Madden is the same game. It, though some years it is better, but none, nonetheless, it's the same game. So you don't buy Madden and like, oh, man, it's too much of the same thing. Like, I think, you know, people confuse the first person shooter with sports shooters. Like I said before. Call of Duty and Battlefield are first-person sports shooters. They are sports shooters. Halo and Resistance are first-person shooters and multiplayer sports shooters secondary. That's what you need to know. If there was a resi if there was a Resistance four, would it be dope? Probably so. Dope story, same characters building onto the story, you know. And then you have a semi, I guess, great experience with the you know online. You know, um, same thing with Halo 4 that's coming out this year. It's going to have the continuation, the new trilogy with Master Chief. That's going to be dope. You're going to get to see where the story's going. And then on the back end, you're going to get multiplayer again. And so, hey, I mean, y'all just need to leave it alone, man. It is what it is. Like, you know, if Battlefield, if Battlefield 4 comes out, same game, I'm telling you. It's going to be the same game. Same game. It's just going to be just as like, they might as well, like, back in the day when we used to buy. I wish I would have grabbed one of my PlayStation 1 games. I don't think I have. I might have some sports from laying around, but when you flip it over, it's going to tell you just here are the new thing we added. That's what they need to do. Like, okay, here's Call of Duty. Here's what we added. This is what we tweet. This is what we improved. That's it. Bam. Same thing with Battlefield. Sorry, people. If Battlefield 4 comes out and Call of Duty Black Ops comes out, same game. Sorry. Same, 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 same game. Steals out. Later.